Okay, so... Today, we will be going over how to make a parallel quest. Now, I know I uploaded a quest tutorial before on how to make one, but that would- I actually, in that video, made an expert mission, and it would mainly just how to make a mission in general. I didn't actually make a parallel quest specifically, but in this video, we will be making a parallel quest, and we will be adding some things into this video that we didn't have in the last one. Now, bear in mind, if you watch the last one, that's going to be a bit redundant, as a lot of the things that were said there will be said here, because there's not much differences in making expert missions to parallel quests, other than the fact that you can be more flexible with uh, various objects inside the mission, like dialogue, scripts, and all that. But without any further ado, let's get into it. Now, just like last time, you're going to need a couple things. For uh, one, you're going to need the quest importer, right? Actually, theoretically, you don't need the quest importer which is this right here, this will allow you to extract or import any of the vanilla quests in the game as of late, except for the oob quests, because those are very buggy. And same with the uh, uh, Supreme Kai quest, the Canton City Tournament, you cannot do, uh, modify them. Uh, for some reason, it glitches on here, but other than that, every single vanilla quest is inside this right here, even like the lobby quest. So, what you want to do is get this, and then, whoops, there we go. So you want to get the quest importer, and then after that, you guys are going to want the mod installer, the patcher, sample quests are recommended, because if you look at sample quests, I think I have it up, yeah. Inside of here, these are made by Eternity himself, uh, inside of all of these missions are a, just like a fucking shit ton of pointers on how to make missions. So, if I don't explain something well enough here, or you have a question, I recommend checking this video, uh, not video, <laughs> checking this mod out made by Eternity himself. It's on the, his, uh, Tools by Eternity page, just a link up here. Uh, if you want to, uh, get some extra advice that I don't go over, uh, go, go, definitely check this one out because this is extremely useful. And also, it goes over dialogue and stuff, which I will not be going over in this video as that will take a very long-ass time. I will be making another video about dialogue and stuff like that in the future, but as for now, we will just be making a baseline parallel quest that's very simple and very down-to-earth. I might do some cool stuff like add in a KO counter for you guys that you can add in too, which is super easy to do, but... Yes, we are, will only be making a simple down-to-earth parallel quest, as I want to keep this short and under like 30 minutes, because I can tell you the last video was like 40 minutes long. So, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be making it fast, but efficiently. As I also recommend checking out that last video first, because like I said, it goes over some stuff that I might forget to go over here, because I don't want to come off as redundant, but I can't help it, uh, these are very similar videos, and I've gotten a good amount of requests to make an actual parallel quest video instead of just a quest video in general, and as before, I will most likely have this quest in the description so you guys can look at it, so, uh, you guys can... Uh, follow that as a guide if you wanted, and remember, please check, please do check this out. Every mission here has some kind of advice that you guys can take for yourself and make into your own awesome missions. As I've been actually seeing a bit more missions on the website uh, as of late, and I can tell you for one that these will help you tremendously, dude. I've actually learned some new shit from these that I haven't known. I, like I've learned some stuff this year from those. It's crazy. Please check out the sample quest by Eternity. You did a very good job with those. Uh, you really won't need anything else here, I mean, if you really want to get the CAC tool to make your CAC an enemy, you could with x 2 m which I will once again not be going over in this video, as it's very uh, complicated. But in the sample quest, it does go over that. So, in, so to begin making a parallel quest, you're going to need one, well, about six things, which are all obtained in the same place. You are going to need the X2QS files of a mission, and specifically a parallel quest. So, uh, what you want to do is get the quest importer, or you could use an X2M quest uploaded by someone, but I don't recommend that. That's kind of stealing if you plan on uploading it, but I recommend getting the quest importer and uh, importing a quest from the game itself. So, we definitely want to get a pretty down-to-earth mission. Um, hmm. What should we bring? I don't want to make a very long mission either. I know what we'll do. Uh, we'll do the World Tournament Tag Team. This mission, 0101, is the World Tournament Tag Team. This is the first, pa the second parallel quest in the game. Uh, the tutorial is actually 1400, which is weird. Uh, it's probably because it's an actual Xenoverse 2 parallel quest, not a Xenoverse 1 parallel quest, because the Xenoverse 1 quests actually share the same ID from Xenoverse. So what you want to do is, uh, when you find the quest you want to actually modify, you click, right-click it, and then click Export, 
and then go to an empty folder on your desktop or wherever you want to make the mission. Alright. Oh, by the way, guys, you want to get these two things pulled up also. I will be putting these in the description. The list of X2QS script actions and then the conditions. You really don't need these if you just want to reskin a quest. Say you want to modify Power Berserkers to be Power Berserkers 2. You don't need these. There's nothing you need in these. But these are to make missions for personality based in terms of content, right? You can add cutscenes. You can add items being disabled and enabled. You can do a bunch of cool shit like that. But I do want to do one thing in here, and I want to show you guys how to disable items. So, look for the enable items command, which is right. Oh, okay. There's actually nine results for that. All right. So, enable items right here. You can literally get rid of items before the mission starts if you want to make your mission harder. I do want to go over that because in expert missions, they're disabled automatically. Well, in parallel quests, they're not. So, what we're going to do is go to desktop. And then we will go to folder, what was it? New folder 2, okay. All right, then uh, I usually use bills. That's just the way I am. It's just the best way to make missions to me. All right, <clears throat> so you're gonna see a bunch of uh, files here. You're gonna see six, is it six, seven, six, okay. Well, if you're in, if you get like a DLC nine quest, it'll be like seven, but it doesn't matter. You only need these six things. So of anything extra, so you don't need to modify, unless you really want to. All right, so. Characters? Alright, so let's open all these, actually. Probably the giant. Yeah, yeah, okay. So characters are the characters that you will fight in this mission, and this will dictate, well, dictate where they spawn, and all their skills and properties, and all that stuff. You can see it right here. Positions, this is really pointless. I meant, you can dictate where you want to spawn on the stage you choose, but, like, you don't even need to modify this file at all. If you're really uncomfortable, if you're really new, don't bother with this file, it's pointless. If, as soon as you get advanced, you can, like, dictate where the actual character spawns on the map. You can spawn them at the, like, on the outside the barrier, you can spawn them in the middle. But if you're just trying to make a basic mission, this file's pointless. <laughs> Except on some stages where you'll spawn outside the barrier, but you really won't ever have to worry about that. Alright, so quest.x2qs. This is the pretty much the quest outline of the quest card, you know, the thing you see on the parallel quest menus now. Uh, inside of this, this will dictate all this, as you can see right here. This is a parent quest, unlock requirements, and all the goodies and rewards were found right here. So, I'm not going to go into rewards either. Uh, I mean, I will show you guys how to make custom skills and items and stuff like that. I mean, I'll try. But, I don't want to make this video too long, as I want to just show you guys the meat and potatoes of making a parallel quest. And I think I went over rewards in my last video. Not entirely sure, but we'll, we'll keep going anyway. All right, so here is the script.x2qs. In script.x2qs, you will find this is literally the core of the mission itself. This is this this is how the mission operates, and this is the most customizable feature of this all characters. Uh, this is how you can literally make a mission amazing or make a mission. Horrible, right? I mean, all based on script.xqs. Well, technically this, depending on balancing and stuff, but I view it this content is important to me. So, script is pretty much everything, every command used here is all inside of script.xqs. Well, A very important piece of quest making. Script 1.x2qs, this is used for the ultimate finish inside of Parallel Quest, and inside of Expert Missions, this is used for health caps for the Expert Mission boss to call in certain skills to be used at certain intervals on those health caps. This is really pointless, once again, if you're trying, like, this is a basic tutorial, we're not going into the advanced shit right now, I will go into that in a later date, but this is pretty much for the ultimate, well, for the ultimate finish, and then backlogs and f for the script that you won't be able to fit in here. This is mainly to keep it less cluttered. Think of it as an extension of script.x2qs, which is exactly what it is. It has, it contains the ultimate finish requirements, as if you don't know, I'm pretty sure the ultimate finish requirement for, um, a World Tournament Tag Team is clear the mission under five minutes, as pretty sure it tells us. Yep, here it is. So, if you see this condition time pass right here, in the script one dot qqs this is the ultimate finish requirement. You change this to whatever you want. Make sure it's a greater than symbol, equal to comma. I would always do something like 3,600 seconds. This will clear the quest in under 30 minutes, which you pretty much will always do. This will guarantee you get the ultimate finish. So if the time passes 3,600 seconds, it'll switch, uh, switch the thing to false. Flag 63 is the ultimate finish, by the way. So if you want to be able to change your ultimate finish conditions, always look for the time pass command. 
in uh, script one.xqs and change the greater than value from 300, 600, whatever, to a really high ass number. And then you will never have to worry about the ultimate finish failing. Or another alternative to doing this is you can con you can uh, control H this file right here and search for action set flag 63 false and replace it with flag 63 true and it will never fail. All right. <clears throat> I know with ex escort missions it's pretty difficult to do, but that's besides the point. This is a we're, like, like I said we're going to a basic mission. Okay, so. Now, QXE's now on characters.xqs. This is QXE special character player base. This is you as a character yourself. Now, you might be wondering, well, what do I do here? Now, every single vanilla parallel quest uses the same exact formula, right? They put you with all your default statistics. Negative 1.0 is a default statistic. For level 1 is a default statistic. For costume, 0 is default. And... AI table. 138, by the way, is a very shitty AI level. This is dictated for your teammates. Here's a quick advice, uh, some quick advice, guys. Do you want to make teammates smart? Your AI partners, your two partners? Do this. You're a much better person for it. They won't get in your combos anymore. They'll be better at reviving you. They can they will go for stamina breaks whenever the enemy uses an ultimate attack. They're super smart with AI 316. AI-315, and AI-400. Mainly 400. Well, 316 is the hardest as of right now. This is because someone uploaded a list. I'm just going to give them a quick shout-out real fast. Of the AI table entry. I would never know about this. Redacted NPC. Uh, this is super awesome. You guys can check this out if you want to customize your AI levels. I will go into that in another video. But just want to give a quick shout-out to that guy. Because that is a... I didn't even know 316 was very difficult. I made a test mission. 316, bro, the AI is much smarter than 400. Which I said that was the hardest in the last video. So definitely a huge shout out to that guy. I mean, that, this is awesome. So, AI level 316. Make, I always recommend switching player base to 316. Your partners won't be stupid anymore. If you want to make a mission where you play as a certain character, do this. And enter in the ID of that character. And if you do this, by the way, if you enter in the ID of a specific cast character, you have to customize their levels and stuff like that. This is all self-explanatory. Uh, what I do recommend, if you want the default values, 1.0 is default. It's the default attack usually. So, if you want to play as a certain character, like, say you want to make a Goku versus Frieza mission on Namek, and you want to play as Goku, this is what you do. Goku, Costume 7 is his shirtless version. Transformation 100 will start him out as a Super Saiyan. And Special Effect is his Super Soul. And, uh... Oh yeah, in the last video, I, rec I remember, uh... Opening the Super Soul sheet made by Demon Boy, I'm pretty sure. This is awesome. I've used it for a lot of missions now. And it's very good. And you can find whatever number you want. Say F is the ID. And say you want to give Goku this is a real combat me, huh? I don't know if caps lock one, but I do. 104. Boom. So you're Super Saiyan Goku without a shirt. With this is a real combat me, huh? Super Soul. And you can customize your super attacks. You open up custom skill to see West to get the IDs for these. Kamehameha, God Fist, Dragon Fist. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I uh, paused the video by accident. But uh, as I was going, I don't remember where I paused, but I was saying is character Goku is, uh, where you're playing as Goku, then you have the shirtless version, Super Saiyan, uh, Special Effect 104, which is, uh, this is a real Kamehameha Super Soul. This was, the Super Soul sheet was made by Demon Boy again, in case I uh, paused before I said that. Uh, the levels and all that we went over. And then these are our super attacks. Uh, Super 1 is Kamameha, uh, God Fist, Dragon Fist, Maximum Charge, Super Kamameha, uh, <clears throat> what's this, uh, Super Saiyan 1, if you do start out Transform, by the way, make sure you have the Super Saiyan 1 Ultimate Skill, Super Saiyan 2 Ultimate Skill, or Super Saiyan 3 Ultimate Skill. Uh, I'd go into Super Vegeta and all that, but this is just what you need. If you fight, if you want to play as Ultimate Gohan, put on the Super Saiyan 3 Ultimate Skill if you really want, it'll be the same exact thing. He'll turn into Ultimate Gohan even though it's Super Saiyan 3. But you can look up the ID and uh, custom skill. Alright, so we're, we're not doing that, though. Okay. There we go. Alright, so MST will be the master that spawns in when you go in alone as your CAC. Your master will come in uh, if you get really low on HP. But again, you can change it to 316 if you want. We're not going to bother with that, though. Alright, so we will be making a specific basic-ass mission. Right? Hmm, what would be a good idea for a mission? Um, I don't know. There's a lot of cool things we could do. Uh, what do you guys think? 
okay, I have no clue. I didn't actually think of this beforehand. Uh, we'll do something basic, right? We'll do something like, I don't know, we'll fight some of the... I guess we'll fight like the... What you call it, the GT villains? How about that? That sounds fun, right? That does sound fun. fun. Need some water real fast? Alright. So, something I do recommend doing is if you want to fight certain characters, head into INS folder. You can't, you can't run at the same time as the question border. And uh, uh, slot editor. And then you can find the characters that you want to uh, add into the mission right here. Uh, so, who do we want to fight? I guess we'll fight Super Baby 2. Huh? Alright, so Super Baby 2 it will be... I will only be going through one character, by the way, to keep this video a bit shorter. So, and then I'll, I'll make the rest of the mission, uh, I'll pause it for some parts, but... I pretty much only need to go for one character, then you guys know what to do to keep it from getting redundant. So, SB2, is Super Baby 2. Uh, his costume, we're not going to modify, because Super Baby 2 does not have a second costume. You see, if you can look at costume index, that's the exact same thing as this right here. So if you want to play as, I don't know, say you want to play as Namek Saga Vegeta, Battlesuit 7, costume index 7. It won't always be like that, but that's how you can check which costume you're going to use. Alright, so... Transformation, we're not going to bother with. Actually, we'll do this. 400 is super villain. So if you want to make them pretty tough, give them ID 400. Well, if you want to give them super villain aura, right? 58 nullifies poison, and nullifies poison and status ailments of all types, heavy stamina breaks and all that. If you want to make your opponent immune to that shit, give them ID 58. Uh, 191 is auto dodge. This is like the expert mission Omega Shenron in mission 13, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this will give you... You'll be at like Ultra Instinct, pretty much. You know what that is. So, I this is... 191 is that. 192 is Super Villain Super Armor. So, an enemy will spawn in with Super Villain Aura and have Super Armor. After you knock them under about 80% HP, they'll lose Super Armor all the way down to 30% and then get it back. And they will have Super Villain Aura the whole time. After, while they have Super Armor up. 193 is just permanent Super Armor. 309. 309 is super armor on every single super attack in the game. Every single ultimate evasive and super. Uh, I said super ultimate evasive. You know what I mean. But every one of those will give you super armor. So if you want to make a tough enemy without permanent super armor, just do this. Like, for example, if you're fighting one enemy, this is really good to put on. And then, the rest of the super souls are on this sheet right here, which I linked in the description. Go wild with that. Okay, guys. So, next up, we will just be giving Baby himself a super soul. Uh, what is Baby Super Soul again? Uh, what is it? What is it? What? It's somewhere here. Uh, this is Kefla. I think. Yeah, that's Kefla. Uh, I don't know where it is. I have no clue. Uh, but you're done. Uh, whatever. We'll just give him 160. This will, after 160 seconds, he'll get a key buff and attack damage buff. So I'm just gonna make it 160. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Alright, so level. Now, 99 is the highest, 1 is the lowest. 1, if you set an enemy to level 1 that's not a CAC, they will be level 1. If you set a avatar to level 1, that'll be a random level. So, keep that in mind. If you want to fight a random avatar, by the way, this is what you do. AVC is a random avatar from the lobby. DEN is your Xenoverse 1 character. DEG is your Xenoverse 1 character with a mask. So, so SP2. Just, just point that out. Just some secret IDs. Alright. <clears throat> Eternity also, I think, I'll upload something like that, too, if you want to look at it. Oh, by the way. OWN is your single... is your character. And CPY is your character, too. So, whoever you go as, the enemy will be. Even X2M characters. So say you pick X2M Super Saiyan 4 Xeno Vegito. If you put CPY as the enemy character, Xeno Super Saiyan 4 Xeno Vegito will spawn as an enemy. No matter if it's an X2M or not. No matter what skills. They won't have any skills, but... Um... Whatchamacallit. Uh, they will be the same exact character. And OWN uh, is pretty much the same thing. It's, it's a more complicated version that you can give skills to, but we're not going over that right now. Alright, so... Health, what you want to do pretty much is... And if you want to give a, a person not, uh, 
nine health bars, 90,000, so on and so forth. We're going to give him uh, just normal blue HP for now. F24, yeah, I don't know what that is. It's for Bright Ape, I'm pretty sure. Uh, key, let's do this. Uh, we'll go 900. 900 keys, 9 key bars. 1,000 stamina is 110 stamina bars. Now, for attack, 1% uh, is... 1.0 is default. Negative 1 is... Well, the character's normal statistics would be at level 99. So you can either keep it the same, or go crazy and make it something like 999, which is a one-shot. 20 is 2,000 times stronger than normal. 19 is 19 times stronger. Well, I, I didn't mean 2,000 times stronger, just 20 times stronger than you would normally be. 19 is 19 times stronger and so forth, so we'll make him 2. We'll just be simple and go 3.0. 3. Oh. Oh. Alright, so... <clears throat> and you can, you can make these different for all the values, too. Alright, so... Next up is the attack damage, which is pretty much your defense levels. Now, making anything over 1.0 will make it so you take more damage. Putting a... Zero in front of this. 0 0.5 would be 50% damage reduction. 0 0.7 would be 30% uh, damage reduction. 0 0.75 would be 25% damage reduction. 0 0.8 would be 20% damage reduction. Making it 1.8 would make it say you take 0.8 more percent damage. Or you, you'll pretty much be taking double damage if you make it 2.0, right? So we'll just be simple and go 25% damage reduction for Super Baby 2. We went over AI level 316. Guard attack and guard damage is how much chip damage you take. Boost speed and boost speed is default values, obviously. If you have a character that's going too fast, set it to 1.0, that'll fix their speed. Okay. What's next? Um, skills. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I actually will be right back. I'm going to pull up some skills real fast. Okay, guys, I picked up uh, the skill, custom skill that I could see what's that. TML. So, uh, type in... Super Baby Dulce. There's his IDs, and you just put those IDs in. You don't have to do this. You can use whatever IDs you want. But specific. Copy and paste it from the roster. Like, for example, instead of maximum charge, we'll give him Darkness Picture, which is 530. <sighs> 6530's his ultimate. 50... 5531's Bake Sphere. 5011 is Super Key Explosion. If you want to make your enemy have an AoE attack, Key Explosion, 10,000. 10130 is Break Strike. 21080 is Power Key Blast. 21001 is Rush Key Blast. 21082 is Homing. 21083 is Paralyze. No, 21082 is a uh, Bomb. Homing. Paralyze. I use Power. And that's it. So that's pretty much it for your character. Uh, there's nothing else you really need to do here, guys. Uh, you just do this for every single character in here. But in the meantime, we're actually going to scroll down to here real fast. So this is the QML section of this uh, thing. Normally, QML used to be a separate file, but the this Eternity version of making a quest actually combined them, which is pretty handy. Very good by Eternity. All right, so QML character is don't mess with this up here. Unless you're adding in new characters to missions, which we'll be doing in this video. It's basics. So stage will be the spawn stage you start on. You wouldn't be needing to change the stage for every single level. So, oh, we will probably, hmm, what do we want to change the stage to? We will go on BF Battlefield, um, we don't want to, we'll just go BF Sky, or BF Oh, I can also pull this up. Stage ID list. By Eternity, again. Once again, shout out. This is really cool. Our BF Save. We'll go in the hyperbolic time chamber. Why not? BF Say. You do replace all. Positions. Replace all. Quest. Replace all. Script. Replace all. Script 1. Replace all. Dialogue. Replace all. There you go. Stage has been changed with no issues whatsoever. So that's how you change the stage. Spawn and start is true. Battle index. Make sure it, if player 1, 2, and 3 must have a battle index of 0, 1, and 2. 
three, four, five, and six. This only goes up to six. This will load the character in without having to spawn them in through the scripts, which we're not going over once again. I'm trying to keep this basic. Okay. Uh, next up, AI level. Don't bother with this. The only difference you would do is by making an AI type five like this. But no, you really never mess with this. You can change yourself to an enemy. You be on the enemy team. Team B is a uh, enemy. Team A is player team. Don't know what this is. You can use the equip skills action command in this section. The equip skills mid mission, which we're not doing because it's too. <laughs> it takes a long time to go over that command. Let me tell you that much. And that's pretty much it for the character section of this. So I will be building the rest of the characters. And hold on. I'll probably build the rest of the characters at a later date, as we don't want to be here forever. Uh, <clears throat> well, I'll probably build them off camera, but and we'll, we'll go over the complete mission in the game, right? But I just wanted you guys to see how this would work. Uh, our player position, we're going to our quest. Now, this is where things get spotty. Uh, if you want to make a custom name for your quest and description, which I'm sure you do, you need to be able to add in an audio text entry file, which you do up here, even though it's not audio. I'm pretty sure it's called audio text entry. So first things first, you need to make a unique name for your quest. So do TMQ underscore, just a bunch, three random letters, underscore INS. That will allow you to make a custom ID. No worries about oh, and, oh, like overriding anyone else's mission. I'd add the underscore one to be safe. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. You got your ID, and now we will be making a custom description. Let me go pull up a reference sheet fast. Okay, guys, so I pulled up a reference sheet real fast, and this reference sheet is for Eternal Rival, and this is what the text entries look like. This is how you type in a custom uh, thing for your mission. So you head over to Quest itself, and then you backspace out. So, and then what you do is you type in text... Next, go back. Look, I'm using this as a reference to what it looks like. TMQ underscore DJF one. It's not 19. That's because I had to do them. All right, so you got that, and like this. Open bracket. Now, how many space bars do you do? You get the lowercase e under the uppercase e. In English, you're probably going to type... You could put this in any language you want. Spanish, yes. J Japanese is J-A, I think. But we're doing English for now. It'll default to the other languages at uh, automatically. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, Quest to tour. You can name this whatever the hell you want. There's no blacklist. Boom. So then, what you do after you get your title in, you go to the title section... Type in TMQ. Uh, you can, and then you do this. Oh, by the way, you add an underscore zero at the end of the first one, right? So TMQ underscore GJF INS one underscore zero. So now it'll link, and you'll get your custom name in game. Now here's our quick tip: do this every single time. Boom, there you go. So now I have to bond the link it later. On score one, this is your mission objectives. Defeat. Whoa, that was weird. You can just copy and paste now. You no longer have to worry about typing it up again. Defeat. Baby. Two. E. I'll team completed. You pretty much can always leave this one the same. I do want to show you guys something. Backslash N is how you indent, by the way. If you want to indent in your uh, descriptions and all that. I'm. Next up. Three. You can type in your plot. Quest for your
Sorry about that jump cut, guys. I had to do something real quick. All right, so number four is clear in under five minutes. So we're getting, this is the ultimate finish requirement right here. Uh, clear in under 30 minutes because it's, that's what we changed it to. And then five is the ultimate finish win condition. Like how you win the ultimate finish. On this side. There you go. Okay, so that's pretty much it for making your mission name. Episode is where you load the dialogue from. You can do 26. I meant do 13. That's a good one to load it from. Subtype 0. Keep that 0. If you want to make a Dragon Ball quest, extract one. From player 3, you can't change that. Alright, so parent quest. Do this. Immediately. No, no question. Just do this. Alright, now you just saved yourself the trouble and nightmare of trying to find your parallel quest. It'll always be unlocked no matter what. As long as you have completed the tutorial, it'll be unlocked. Alright, so time limit now. So the time limit you can, it is in seconds, 916, uh, 15 minutes. Uh, 1200 is 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Sure. We'll just do 20 minutes for now. Difficulty, 0 is 1 star, 1 is 2 star, 2 3 star, 3 4 star, 4 5 star, 5 6 star, 6 7 star, 7 is unknown difficulty. Uh, that's what they use in extra missions and raids. Difficulty 6. Stage. We, we change that. Don't bother with start demo. Reward is XP. It gets multiplied by the number you choose, so don't make it too crazy. So we'll do 2300. Ultimate finish. So if you complete the mission, don't get the ultimate finish. This is what you get. If you do complete the ultimate finish, you get this. This is what you get when you fail. 100, 500. This is, this is the amount of TP medals you get for the first time you ever complete the mission. 10. This is how many times you get it after. 1. TP metal special, don't bother, don't bother. Resistance points, items, rewards. Now, this is very hard to explain. Um, I'm just going to go over skills in this video. I'll go over items later on. Like I said, I don't want this video to be too long. It's already 30 minutes. I didn't want it to be this long in the first place. But it's fine, because we are just about finished. So, all right, so next up, this is skills. Now, you find, what? say you want to make Super Kamameha unlockable. 5,000 is Super Kamameha. Super Kamameha. Just change it to the any ID you want. You can use X2M if you know what you're doing. X, uh, Eternity goes over all this stuff in his version. World Tournament Stage. This is the stage portraits. You can have a lot, but you can only get C4. Uh, character portraits. This is what you see on the quest card, you know, the enemy section. So we're just going to see for Baby 2. Booyah. Alright, get rid of all this. Uh, none of this. Like, And then if you want to make them super villain, do costume 2. Or their super villain costume, transformation 401. That's how make him super villain. Okay, so next up is update requirement. DLC 10. Always make that DLC 10. I always lock a uh, mission behind a DLC. It doesn't matter. Uh, prevent piracy. If any uh, enemy BGM, just look up the B Look, Use Eternity's audio tool to find the ID for the song. 41 is a pretty good one. Uh, th this plays when you're not near an enemy. Right? No enemy, no enemy. These just seem to cycle. When you're fighting an enemy, it'll play the extra mission theme. And then the ultra finish, it'll play the extra extra. Script, we're not going to bother with anything here. Except we will be disabling items. As I want to show you guys how to do that. Enable. Items. False. Alright, you can't use items. Oh, but you want to get your items back, huh? Okay. Ooh. Not only does this enable your items, it restocks your items. So if you want to have an item restock, like halfway through your mission, enable items true under your most recent script. Let me put this on a battle mode start, by the way, just so it doesn't glitch. It all depends on where you put this to. This is, I cannot go into this right now, as this could take hours. But pretty much, you don't really need to be modifying scripts. If you guys want the enable items command, if you want to get rid of items, just and put after battle mode start indent and put action enable items false. If you want an item restock, you have to find out where that part of the mission is and then put it under that part. But if you want to get rid of items in your mission, guys, just type in uh, enable items false. Item restocks, you can, even if you already have items, you can put enable items true and you get a restock. All right, so you got enable items false. Well, we're going to put true for this, because like I said... Actually, we'll, we'll keep it false. <clears throat> uh, nothing else, really. But I will show you guys how to make a KO counter, which is pretty cool. A KO counter is something really cool using the Metal Cooler Riot mission. So, you type in this. Go. Go. 
crew. One, two, three, five enemies in this mission. So we'll crew five. You want to reset it? Type in false and then type in the new number. So put the amount of enemies in the mission and just put the KO counter there and just go crazy. And that's pretty much it for scripts. We're not going into anything else right now. Terra spawn and all that, we're not going to bother with. Um, I will say, though, with the Kara spawn command, you can change the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the animation by changing the number all the way on the right, but it's not in this mission. And I can't spawn in a character right now, so. But I will leave, I, I will leave an ID list for the Kara spawn command. Wait, let me, Kara spawn. If you want to sp uh, spawn in a character, pretty much, uh, if you're adding in characters, uh, you use this command, and if you, whatchamacallit, if you want to change their animation, look for the scene ID, the uh, parameter. Alright, actually, I'll, I want to go over this, because I know a lot of people probably want to do it. So, action. Uh. Alright, so in most quests, you will see this exact command right here. Except Bob won't actually be there, and the stage is here. So 21 is the animation they spawn in with. Right, that's how they fly in, right? So, let's scroll down now. This awesome guy named Mr. Anonymous1, I honestly really believe you should check him out. He makes some really cool content, right? A lot of cool stuff he makes. Uh, I think he changed his name recently, I, I don't remember. Uh, but you should really check this guy out, he's really cool. Uh, I've talked to him before, he's, he's really cool. I, I, know, I know him very well. All right. So, uh, next up, these are all the animations, uh, these are all the IDs, and I have a video going over these animations right here. What they all look like. These are the animations I'm talking about, they all have their own IDs, and 21 is fly-in using some expert missions. You change 21 to whatever ID you want. They're in order in the video, so you guys might honestly notice some of these. These take a lot of trial and error, but... You'll get the hang of it, but I wanted to go over that character spawn command really fast as that's going to be a popular one. Okay. All right, so dialogue we're not messing with. So, well, okay, we're done. That's good. Let's go. All right, so now we can play the mission, which I will do. But, like I said, uh, I'm not going to finish the mission right now as I'm very busy in my normal life. I do not have time to finish this mission. But it, it pretty much, you guys can probably even build off this mission if you really wanted to. Uh, don't have to credit or anything like that, but it's just a simple ass mission that you can build over. It just shows you everything we went over to keep things simple for the newcomers and not overwhelm them. So that is pretty much it for making the mission. Let's build the damn. Sorry, I clicked the wrong button. As I was saying, let's build the damn thing. All right, so head to the Universe Two folder, go to the INS section, and go to Quest Creator. You will need this too. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. God damn it! Did I? No, no, that's in the mod installer. Never mind. I'm pretty sure. Is it? I don't know. It, it, it should be. Alright, so XV2 INS. Go to open up Quest Creator. Now, we're going to create your mission. Name. <sighs> Tutorial. By. Plays. Author? I don't know. What, what's his name again? Warden Plays? I'm pretty sure that's his name. Alright, so put in your author name, your version number. I don't know. Version 6. <coughs> Sorry, uh. Pause the recording again by accident, but give yourself a ID. This will make it so you don't accidentally overwrite someone else's mod. Uh, change file. This is where your quest files will be located, guys. So pay attention. We went to new folder too. Select folder. Save. Oh what? Oh, <laughs> don't be a goofball. Make sure you save your work, please. That happens to me all the time. Uh, let's pretend that didn't happen. Okay, we are pressing the save button for the first ever time now. Let's see. Hopefully it works. Oh. I actually never knew this. You can have a max limit? Okay, alright. So I guess we're gonna fix that real fast. Uh, quest. Change the name. I did not know there was a character limit. Alright, this is what you want to make your IDs. Boom. Do TMQ, three random letters, underscore XV2. There you go. <laughs> I did not know that was a thing until today, actually. That's actually pretty cool. Learn something new every day, and there we go. Now, this is just a random thing I was making. That's how I was uh, testing out the things I was telling you guys about earlier. Okay. So, 
file name, you just type in whatever you want, quest, tutorial, and file of an return. Let's go. So, we will hop in the mission now. We'll hop in the mission. Well, yeah, technically, but we need to load up the game first and install the damn thing. So, let's install the mission. Okay, guys, we're ready to install the mission. Let's... Boom! Oh, I'm going to change this version 69 a bit late. Don't you worry about that. Time to load up the game! Alright, let's see if this mission works. I sure hope it does. This took a lot of time to make. Alright. Oh, I know for a bunch of newcomers, it would take a lot of time. It took a lot of time for me, too. But funnily enough, guys, I'm, let me share some fun facts with Papa Ward. Alright, right. back before 2018 of July of 2018, obviously, you had to make missions through the QXD. Now, don't worry, it's fixed. Uh, but you had to make missions through the QXD rather than X2M format. X2S files, they don't exist in the vanilla game. There are actually Q QEDs, QMLs, QSLs. What is it, QML1s and QED ones? I'm not sure. Mid forever since I actually made a quest through the actual game itself. But back then, you had it was much harder to make missions on known values were common. It, you, you had to replace old missions. You couldn't add in new ones unless you were somehow really smart. And, and I actually managed to figure out how to add a mission in until then. Literally a couple months later, Eternity actually managed to make a uh, really convenient way of making quests. And I am thankful for that because let me tell you, I... I love this. I love this tool, bro. Attorney did such a great job with the different shots. Him, make sure you go check out that thing. And uh, well, look, here it is. And I forgot the dash right here. Make sure you add a dash in front of Defeat Baby. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, but there you go. Mission works. Quest tour for making parallel quests. Oh, look, super common. has a skill. Time limit is 20 minutes. If you want to make your time limit unknown, by the way, in the uh, session of uh, the thing, in the flag section of the what you call it. Uh, if you in the flag section of the whatchamacallit, the script uh, the quest.x2qs file at the bottom of the page, you'll see a flags tab, and if you do zero times two hundred, you can make your time on the question marks. Which is a cool thing. Eternity actually goes over that in making a quest tutorial. <clears throat> All right, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll go with. You do it. Rex, Gogeta, and Vegito. Doesn't really matter. All right, let's see if it works. I am very eager to release this to everyone, even though, and like I said, I might have come off of a Oh yeah, this is what happens if you don't change the spawning location, but that doesn't really matter right now. You don't have to change the stage, and then you don't have to worry about that. Oh look, Super Baby 2 is the only one that has a weird health bar, right? Because we modified it. Oh look, he has super armor on his super attack. I wonder why. Boom. Did I get my super soul? I don't remember. Oh, look. No items. See? And look at the KO counter on the right. There you go, guys. That is the mission itself. I'd go through the rest, but this video is already very freaking long. I want to keep it not that long. It's already like 40 minutes, but that is it. The mission is done. The link's in the description, and pretty much it. Enjoy making quests. Hopefully to see more on the website. I've been seeing more recently since my first tutorial. Very, very awesome stuff. Man. If you get to this point, thanks. I appreciate the watch time. That's very, it actually means a lot. I do appreciate it. And that's it, everyone. I will see you all in the next video. And I, I actually have a new thing coming up pretty soon. Uh, the Crystal Raid Stage 2, which I actually teach on my channel a couple days ago at the time of the recording. So without any further ado, that is it. I'm going to end the video now. And I'll go. thanks again for watching. Have a great one. And I will see you all in my next video. Peace out, everyone.